Okay, before we begin, I just want to ask one question. Uh, yeah. Okay. So before we begin, I just want to ask small question, whether you feel the practical sheet or not. How many of you feel the practical sheet and how many of you have not filled? I feel. Okay, those who have not filled, please go to the sheet and please indicate, for an example, if Mesa want to do the practical Monday for uh, 2 p.m. So please go to this, right? So let's say you want to do practical. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Please. Uh, sir, uh, there is a small power cut in a uh, in a uh, area. Uh, can I leave, sir? Yeah, it's okay. So you can just later refer the uh, video, right? Uh, thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Yes. Google sheet, uh, Google sheet. Google sheet, it's uh, shared to LMS, Edmodo. So if you okay. go to Edmodo here, you can see the practical allocation sheet is there. It's shared with, uh, yeah, it's shared with all the classes, right? Shared with all the classes. You can see the practical allocation sheet. And I have even sent this using WhatsApp. I have in, even sent this using WhatsApp. Right. Then, okay, Hishan, thank you. Right, okay. So then, uh, please fill this, right? So if you are not filled, please fill this because uh, it's really required to fill this. This is how we are going to allocate the practical after. Uh, the year after 2020 this is how we are going to allocate the practicals if you put morning hours later you can change it to evening hour if school starts you can change this to evening hour so don't worry about that they will have them once school start can not take come a capita house will have a question okay so let let us begin so today actually we have to do more practicals because now in grade uh, this is grade 7 class so if any student here who's new to the class, so we have just started uh, doing the practical after completing the first lesson, right? Is there any new students? Hello, is there any new? Yes. Yes, yes or not? Yes, sir. Okay. So then, yes, sir. If there are new students, don't worry. We just completed the first part or very first lesson that is theoretical lesson in this book mm, yeah you have you can download the book from Edmodo, right so if you have not received the book you can download the book from Edmodo. and this part we have completed now but don't worry that is not a big lesson small lesson it's a theoretical lesson it's about the central processing unit and evaluation of the central processing unit so you can refer to the videos we have uploaded those things and it's there in the Edmodo. Right, then uh, today also I just want to show you something. So let me start my video and stop sharing my screen. Can you pin into my screen? So I prefer if you can also turn on your videos then. Yes. So please pin into my one. Just double click on my screen, then you can see this. And I just want to show you some components. So may I know what is this device? Monitor. Yeah, it's a monitor. It's all monitor. Nowadays, monitors are not this much heavy. Yeah. Yes. In our house, also, there is a monitor like this. Oh, you have monitor like this. You have so what is the computer that you are using? The IBM, I think. So I don't know. Old one. I think I yeah. Mm. You are not using that. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, but now it's a bit uh, you call it. Oh, it's all oh, it's your father's one. So this one actually I I had an old computer. But unfortunately, my father has thrown it, uh, thrown it away. He has given it to someone. Okay. So uh, then, uh, 
uh, then I found this computer. This cost of this computer was like uh, two thousand, only two thousand rupees. This is the system unit of that machine, and this is still working. This is still working, but very old machine. It's Pentium three computer. It's Pentium three computer. I think it's like twenty years old machine, closer to twenty years. It's twenty, yeah, twenty or twenty five years. So very old machine, right? So let me show the components or the parts inside that. Because some of you have not seen. Just try to recognize these parts, right? Okay. I'm showing these things because some of you have not seen. So what is this? Can you recognize this component? What should be this? Yes, anyone? How to recall the problem? The memo card that you have. That's why I am not able to do that. So here you can see Pentium three, Pentium three. So is it some kind of cooler? No, it's it's all processor, right? It's the all processor. So that's why it has this. Unit. This unit is for cooling, basically. Then our apple overloading condition, you know, again. So because our brain is generating heat, no. So it's similar to our hair. It has this interface, so which can transmit heat very fast way. We can send the heat out in very fast way. This is called heat sink, and this is the processor. This is a very old one, right? I'll show you a new one too. And have this. Okay, can you see this part? So can you see this one? What is this one? Hello. Uh. I can remove this. I can remove this. Ram. 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 Random access memory. Ram. Random access memory. Random access memory. Some other names. Main memory. Main. Random access memory. Main memory. Temporary. Ah. Oh, temporary memory. Right. Primary memory. Primary storage. Ah. All that. The names given to this memory. This is where the current running, currently running applications are saved. Then run when you are maybe like run when application save will be done. So, but this is volatile. Volatile can current can not be done. Make it matter can not be done. Current can be done. Can you try? Me also matter. In that make it be volatile. Be done. Depends on the voltage. Okay. The RAM can connect to any other board directly. Be done. RAM is connected to motherboard directly. So that's a side actually. You have to properly connect that, otherwise it will get damaged. You know it's connected to the motherboard, so you can't move. These locks are there to protect. So now you can't move. It's your RAM. And here, this is the processor. It's also connected to the motherboard. Right. In addition to processor and RAM, so can you see these components? Okay, this is also right? this is power unit. This is where the power comes here. The power wires, all these come into this power unit, and this is called okay. What is this? You can see. Hard disk. No, 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 this one. A DVD. Ah, uh, DVD, CD-ROM. This is CD, DVD-ROM, and the other side of this, what is this? Other side of this, you can see something familiar. Yes, this is. This is. Um, yeah, this is hard disk. This is uh, actually connected using. Um, you can see it's connected using. Uh, nuts. So that's why I cannot remove and show you. But this is hard disk. 
So this is CD ROM, the other Hi. side. Hi, it's a bit different than the newer version. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's new, it's different than the newer version. Because this is old version, right? Okay, then in addition to that, you have floppy drive too. Yeah, but in newer computers, you don't have floppy drive. This is floppy disk. Huh? Yes. Yeah, in our computer, we have floppy drive. Oh, you have floppy drive. That's good. But new, the old computers only, you have floppy drives. Newer computers, you don't have floppy drives because it's not used nowadays. Right? Okay, I think now you know the components, basic components. I just want you to know these things, how these are there, how it's located in the motherboard. So if you know that. Uh, yes. Sir, these are the floppy drives in our oh, house. That's good, that's great. Can you send one to me? <laughs> uh, this problem is, sir, uh, the, 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 the metal round is uh, rusty. Oh, that means it's not working. Ah, oh, it's not working, right. So I just want to see that side. So, okay. So I had floppy drives. I had like desktop floppy drives. Large set of floppy drives with me. But not now. So even the large one. This is three and... So small one. Three part. So three and a half one. But we had five part of floppy drives too. Which is more smaller than this one. Okay, now you know the components. This is new computer, recent one, not that much fast. Let me show that one too. So this is not, not that much on. Here, this is the power you need. So where's the processor? Processor is underneath of this fan. Fan is underneath of this fan. Fan is underneath of this fan. Fan is underneath of this and you can see the random access memories here, Matthew. Yeah. These are the random access memories. There are two. Yeah. It's clear mm. that the first one. Hmm. It's clear than the first one. And you have this is the power unit. And this is CD ROM or DVD drive. You can see the and front. The yeah. Let me show the front front view. You can see. It is CD DVD drive, the front wheel, and the back wheel. In the back wheel, you can see. So these are the. This is the back panel, which is basically used to connect the computer peripherals or the equipments, mouse, keyboard, like thing. You can connect to this. Okay, this is a mouse. You can see this a mouse. Old mouse. This one you can connect to this. You connect it with the color part. So green color one connect to the green color one. This is old mouse, right? This is old mouse. And this is old keyboard. This is very old keyboard again. You don't see this kind of keyboard now. So the old keyboard is also connected to it. it is also connected to this one here, the purple color one. This is how you connect the old keyboard. Okay. But new, newer keyboards, newer keyboards you can connect through USB. Newer keyboards you can connect to USB. That means something like this. Here, this is called USB. It's like pen drive. This is for new keyboards. You can connect to the USB. Right now, you know, printers are connected here, printers, scanners, here, sounds, sounds connected to here. So, this is how computer is. The components of the computers are connected. Okay, got an idea? Or not? Yes, it's clear. Yes, sir. Okay, I think you got an idea because we saw images. 
basically but unlike images it's better to show or better to see the uh, actual things actual pictures that's why i share okay let me share my screen okay we discuss about these parts and have you seen this part in the computer then that can kind of Yes, you saw this part. Have you seen this part, computer memory? Computer memory? RAM, RAM, random access memory. You saw that as well. So, have you seen storage devices like hard disk? Yes, that the hard disk, right? Even that. So, have you seen these things? Have you seen interface, user interface? User interface, can I get that cover? No, have you seen these things? Yes, sir. Files folders, that cover, that cover, pen and the. Yeah, yes, sir. Files pen and the other. My God. Uh, not Files now. Files. No, I'm asking in the practical. This one, when I was showing this hardware, when I was showing this hardware, have you seen these components? I'm not those. Mm. Files, folders, interface, you have not seen. But if you go to, let's go to Windows. It's a Windows machine. Now you can see. Now you can see. Here you have files folders, user interface to work with. This is user interface. So window is also user interface. So these are there. These are called software components. These are not tangible. Software components. These are called software components. These are not tangible. Okay. Understood that the difference between hardware and software? Hardware tangible, you can see those. Software you can see, but you can't touch. Right? Okay, today actually we are going to learn about this different. Uh, so we have started our practical. Some of you have done the practical with me. How many of you have done the practicals? Kevin done the practical with me and who's Shamin, you did? What, sir? Practical, Karabu. Have you done the practical installing Ubuntu or installing? Sir, the problem is sir, the RAM of our laptop is not uh, no. not much. That's the problem, sir. Mm -hmm. Kevin, uh, Kevin has done the practical. Mesa, have you done the practical? No, sir. When I did it in Linux, it uh, it was I uh, let it to. Um, मगेबून मगे कर Add ke add add karne ke ghi le balu ane. So you are not able to install that. The hamsa have you done the practical? The hamsa karada. Yes sir. So you installed uh, Linux. Upun upun do them the Linux ek. Dan hamu na the. The hamsa. Have you installed upun do Linux? Hello. So. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. That's good. Deomi. Deomi. Yes, sir. You installed Linux? No. N no. This is my first day. Ah, this is your first day, right? Okay. So let's do this then next week. Let's do the practical. I'll connect to your machine and let you do the practical. I'll help you to do the practical. Yes, okay, sir. Okay. Hey, Shan. Hey Shani, Mr. 
Mesa replied, no? Yes, I told you. Tisa? Yes, Tisa, you did the practical with me? No. Yeah? You have not done the practical, no? I can't. Tisa? My computer power. Uh -huh. Right, okay. Then what about uh, Vihansa? Asarari, did you do the practical? Yeah, no, Not yet, sir. Not yet, okay. This week we have to do this five. Yes, sir. Okay, this week you have to do this. Right? So we, because we have experience now, we are not in grade uh, uh, six now, we are in grade seven now. So anyway, next by next year, some of you are in grade seven, some of you are in grade eight. Right? So anyway, you have experience. Now you have to start experience in the computer. So now you have to go to go beyond the basics. So please try to do. I can help you. So only thing is you have to try. Here I'll show you one thing. Here this is my uh, virtual box, and inside virtual box I have last week I have installed um, Windows Windows Server. Here, yeah. this is Windows 7. I have installed this one last week. And not just that, so see this. I'll show you something else. Mm. This is another one. This is also another software which I have used to create a virtual computer. Okay, here you can see how many OSS I have installed. Windows Server, CentOS, Ubuntu, and Debian, OS X, this is Mac. Right. Let me double click and show you one thing if it permits. Okay, this is how basically the Linux looks like, it's Kali Linux. Kali Linux is a Linux version which is basically used for hacking. This is also another OS, another operating system. Let it load. Okay, let it load and just move to the lesson. Okay, today what we have to do? Today we are going to learn, learn about this computer storage devices and the files. So basically, what are the software programs? Monogamy software programs that are OS computer get So one, the first one is basically we have we have software programs to open documents. Right? We have software programs to open documents. One is Notepad. So can you all open Notepad? So how to open Notepad? Right, press Windows button, then type Notepad. Notepad. Can you all open it? Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Let's have this code in the Notepad. Let's write this code in the Notepad. Make make a Malian a Malian. Okay, I'm going to write this. Please write the same thing in the notepad, right? In the notepad, you write um, bodies B G C O L O R equal within quotation. Let's give dream. And write this one. Then you give something like this, font C-O-L-O-R equal white. Let's write your name. I'm going to write my name. So this is less than and greater than, right? This is less than and greater than. This is greater than, this is less than mark. So can you write the same thing quickly? Look. 
Sorry. Okay, sir. Please copy and write the same thing, right? Don't you can't copy this way, but you write the same thing. Finish. Okay, so finish. Finish. Yeah. Others? I am an egg, a hundred and an egg, and a key that I got an egg. You want a gully for it? These are not working. So, if keys are not working, what you can do? So, if keys are not working, keys are a crown at the Mehmakara. Make it the NMA on stream keyboard key element. Make it a Giamma the NMA, make a search crown. On stream key alarm, the photo make an on stream keyboard. Then you will get this keyboard. Then you can type. The method select a lot type gram or maton and call a particular type gram. It will type. You can use on stream keyboard. Finish writing, all of you. Abhi make a save. Okay, still writing. Please save as still writing. Not command. Then leave one. Leave now. Not command. Now make a save. Karana file save as gihilla. File save as gihilla. Here, please select desktop. Me pack then desktop. Kine select karana. Please select desktop and save as hello. H E L L O dot H T M L. From here, select all files. Hello dot H T M L dot take up the name. Um, penna na ekalo kukala. Let me zoom and show you. Sir, or oh, you can use, I think, Windows plus, Windows plus, oh, no, uh, Control plus, uh, you can use. Sorry? Control plus, the plus mark, you can zoom. Yeah. But I'm, I'm zooming the other one, that's why. I'm zooming oh, okay. the remote computer. That's the reason. Oh, okay. This is not Windows computer, no? I'm using Mac to have remote access another computer and zoom there. Oh. Sorry? Not ready. Not ready. Ah, I can pen on another. You have to save this as here. Sorry. You have to save as hello.html all files. Then save. It will save the run. Okay. After saving, you can see the file in your desktop. Here, this is my file. Just double click it. Yes. And what you can see? Just double clicking and what you can see?
So I came now. What, what did you do? So I use notepad. I just use the notepad and type this one. My notepad is coming. Then maybe make a type. I type this one. Then I save it as file. Save as I save it as hello dot html. Then use all files. Hello dot html. Then you know all files. Then I'll save it. That's the thing I did. So it shows a green background with my name. Ah, uh, it shows this one. No? In green background, you can see your name in white color. So that's basically web page. That's basically a small web page. Okay. So these kind of documents, these kind of applications, you have in your operating system. So I just want. I don't want to teach you HTML, right? अरे मैं वेब गाना नहीं मेरे ओनो ने मटो ओनो ने documents documents लिया ना पुलवान software in your computer you have the software which can be used to write documents documents can be web documents word documents excel documents powerpoint documents can be anything a notepad is also an application which can used to write different type of documents Another thing. So another thing, if you have done this, then have a look at the end. Again, use Notepad. Notepad के लिए आरा क्या ना? मैं का save कराना मैं हम dot log के लिए ला. Notepad के dot log के लिए ला. मैं हम. Sir, do we have to uh, use capital letters? It doesn't matter. So you can use simple letters. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, when I uh, write, when I say I go to save as the, it tells that sir you have that dot another thing no, but my yes. one had dot txt. Ah. Uh, yeah. Problem is this one. File when you go to save as here, hello dot html. Here you have to select all files. All, all files. All files. Right. Then you can write dot h. Ah. Uh, dot html. Hello dot html. Yeah. Mm. After. Uh, dot log. What do we have to? Yeah, dot log file. You have to just go save as in the desktop. You save abc dot log. Any name. Abc dot log. Again, all files and save and close the file. Then open the file. Then save, close the file. Again, open the file. What happening? What's that? What's going to happen? Right? What did that mean? What did that mean? Close the time and the date. Ah, that's right. So what you have to do is make it. Come, good money. No, no. Dot log kill me. Dot take up the other. L O G kill me. It was save. Karan save. Can not save. Karan na. File save as Gila. Hari. All files dala. Makakari namak dot log dot log dot log. Please save as dot log. And then then after saving. Any name dot log right? Any name is abc dot log. You may save dot log. Daniel dot log. Anything? Then save. Save. And open the file. Close the file. After saving, close the file and close Karala. May log file open Karana. You can see automatically date and time comes to the log file. You can write something. Hello, how are you? And save it again. Save it again. Then close the file. Open it back. Again, you can see the date and time. 
automatically it will not load the data and time to your log file. Understood or not? Understood or not? Hello? Yes, sir. You have done this or not yet? Understood. Right. Okay. So this, this is some another file format, right? This is some another file format. This file format, this log file format, it allows you to keep logs. It allows you to keep logs. Logs means if you have a diary, you can just open and write that. Then it will automatically write the date and time for you. Right, the second version, the first version is HTML file. It's allow you to create a web page. It will be opened in your web browser. So different documents can be created in your computer using these document files. Okay. Sir, what, so what happens when you write, hello, how are you? And save it. Nothing will happen. That will be saved. Hello, how are you? And save it and again open. Close it and again open. Close. Then the time and date is coming. Ah, then the time and date. Again the time and date. Okay, so I think uh, this session will be closed like within two minutes, but don't worry, please join back to the same one, right? So if this is closed, please join back to the same. So the next one is, so you know now different document types can be created in the computer. Yes, sir. Voice and sounds. Voice and sounds. Next one is voice and sounds. There are a software which can be, maybe a software, you know, voice sound record karana so one is voice recorder. You can go here and search or type voice recorder and it will give you this recorder. So this can be used to record the voice. This can be used to record the voice and after recording you can stop and it will be saved. Then you can play back. Okay, this is another application which can be used to if you want to record my audio. Right. Uh, hey Shani, don't worry, I'll help you to do the practicals in some other way using remote access. I can help you to do the practical. Right? Don't worry. Okay, have you tested this? The recording one? Yes. Okay, you can go to Windows and search. What I can do is record or oh, voice record. You can search voice record and that will load this one. And if you are interested in learning these voices, learning these voices further, you can download a software called, it's a free software called Audacity. There is a free software. You can install Audacity which is a free software. I'll show this. This is the version. This is software. Here you can also use this kind of software to record a voice. You can take file new, 